hi everyone my name is rose hartley and a warm welcome back to my channel so i know that my hair looks messy and old but that's just because i've had it for five weeks normally i keep it for four but i have kept it this long so that i can be able to film this video <laughs> so for today's video i'll be showing you guys how to take care of your hair when it's in braids or any kind of protect protective styling and i know that i'm a bit late for the winter hair hair but it's never too late to save some edges this routine might be a little bit too lengthy but you're more than welcome to pick and choose what you like to add to it and um, subtract to it just, just do whatever that will be easier or that will make sense to you so without wasting any more of your time let's get straight into the video We have a new intro did you like it please tell me down in the comment section and just tell me how you feel about it did you like it maybe not just do that so that I can know um, so we are going to start with the onion juice I know what I said about DIYs on my last video and I still stand by it DIYs are good as long as you don't abuse them use them only use them as required okay so onion juice will not grow your hair overnight it takes time it takes time unless if you have good genes i don't know i cannot argue with that but what onion juice will do is help stimulate hair growth strengthen your hair and add shine to it okay so i'll be using the green beauty onion juice recipe um, I'll put the link to her video in the description box. You're more than welcome to go check it out um, if you want to gain more understanding, especially on a scientific level. She also shows different ways of preparing onion juice. I'll only be showing one. So yeah. So let's just go to the preparation of the onion juice. So what we're going to use is one whole onion. Mine is only half because it is the only one I had left in my kitchen. And one whole garlic clove and also cayenne pepper. We're first going to start by chopping our onion. It does not have to be in equal sizes. Um, just chop it to the best of your ability. It does not have to be perfect. garlic please make sure that you peel it first before chopping it and when it comes to chopping you don't have to go all master chef on it just chop it as well as you're able to it's not really that serious don't drive yourself crazy about it i do not really measure the water but i feel like two cups will be enough and to that you're going to add your onions and your garlic um and you're going to place it on heat on medium heat for about five minutes and when it starts to boil just remove it from the heat and let it cool down for about an hour or so 30 minutes an hour is good and after that you're going to strain your water by separating it from the onions and the garlic and then to that you're going to add one teaspoon is it a teaspoon? yes <laughs> one teaspoon of um, cayenne pepper and you're going to stir very well so that you can be able to mix well and common sense is not always common what was that? <laughs> so I got these little applicator bottles sauce bottles from um, ShopRite I don't remember how much they were they are very good for application of um, the onion juice and very and less messy um so as you can see my hair has a lot of build up because i haven't washed it in weeks so we're going to get it right today okay so please do make sure that you put more focus on your scalp massage in that onion juice make sure that it reaches each and every part of your scalp <laughs> so yeah just work it in work it in so that you can get all the benefits the reason why we're using these three ingredients is because one, onions help in preventing hair loss and promoting hair growth. The sulfur from onions may also help promote collagen production. Collagen in turn helps the production of healthy skin cells and hair growth. Two, garlic helps boost blood circulation for maximum nourishment. 
it also helps cleanse hair follicles strengthens them and prevents clogging further curbing hair loss garlic helps calm aggravated scalp and treats issues like dandruff and three and cayenne pepper improves peripheral blood circulation and nourishes nourishes the scalp why not use all these ingredients to obtain maximum results so i'm just gonna cover my hair with plastic bag so that i can let everything soak in so it has been about an hour and this is how my hair looks um it still has little bits traces of cayenne pepper but it feels amazing i'm loving it so now what i'm going to do is i'm um, shampoo it i am using the Anne jakey's shampoo and i'm going to work it in focus on the make sure you get that onion and garlic smell out of your hair and most importantly those little pieces and or chunks of um cayenne pepper make sure that you remove them from the hair um through shampooing and also one thing to bear in mind is that um it might tingle a little bit um but that's okay that's all right <laughs> so guys the funniest thing just happened i came back from washing off my shampoo and i was like oh and i was i thought i was filming i thought i was recording and i was like showing you guys how my hair looked after washing off the shampoo and the the, the onion juice and everything and i just started um conditioning my hair and it was when i was done conditioning that i realized that the camera was not recording i wanted to cry <laughs> No, so yeah, I just uh, so right now the best thing I already have conditioner on my hair, so the best thing I can do right now is just pretend as if I don't have it, just pretend as if there's no conditioner on my hair, and I just came back from shampoo from washing off my shampoo. So let's just pretend as if you don't see any conditioner, and I'll do the whole process again and yeah i am really sorry i yeah 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 ah. <sighs> okay okay let's do it so make sure that you don't apply conditioner directly to your scalp just apply it where you see traces or where you see your hair is visible like right there just make sure that you cover it with conditioner and a conditioner will make your hair um so soft so so soft you will see also after unbraiding that your hair will be so good hey um i've just washed off my conditioner and let's see this time i made sure that i hit the record button i made sure this is heavy My braids are totally refreshed look at them they look so clean and they smell so good look I feel like the cayenne pepper has a way of masking the smell of um, the onion I'm not sure of the garlic but once you add the cayenne pepper the smell goes away it just smells like pepper and once you, you shampoo afterwards then it's good the audio here was so so bad i could not use it it was painful to the ear it, it just had this stinging this <sighs> awful sound um but here i was explaining that my hair is um wet and i was just telling you guys what i'll be using um for moisturizing my hair it's for styling my hair rather um it's the care styling mousse which i got from this game for about 55 rands it is shine enhancing and volumizing with proteins and conditioners and i also explained that one thing i like about it is that it contains what was it wheat hydrolyzed wheat which is good because it helps with um it, it it is what you find mostly in a lot of conditioners and leafy conditioners and it's what helps with um you know strengthening the hair and all that and here i was just 
explaining that another alternative to use if you don't feel like investing in a mousse or you don't feel like spending that much amount of money is a braid spray i found it in my mom's things um I, the only thing i do not like about it is that it contains a lot of silicones which are bad can be bad for your hair because they cause a lot of build up unless you're willing on um, washing your hair every week religiously you can use this kind of braid spray another good brand that you can go for which is much better is it is the darling brand from this game or tricks use water this is what i use i would just use water but already my hair has water so do whatever works for you so now let's start with the styling i am excited because before i would just wash my hair and just let it be and not add anything not apply anything to it so you're just gonna have to shake and then check this out amazing so just okay, <laughs> okay. Just apply some mousse to your hair. So mousse is great because it's not heavy. It's not heavy like like cream, so it does not really cause build up that much. Especially if you have low porosity hair, this is good for styling. So I got the mousse um, from this skin. I don't know how much it was. I think it was around 50 rand. I don't know. I shouldn't use this much. I just love the whole foam and stuff. But I shouldn't really use this much. thinking I should okay I should stop <laughs> I should stop I, I should stop okay <laughs> I should stop this is it I am done with my hair care in braids or in protective styling and um a little bit of a side note this is not the first time i use onion juice i've used it when i first went natural and it did wonders for my hair i don't know why i stopped using it probably got lazy but this is good at first for me i used to just wash my hair every week i used to wash my hair every week when it's in protective styling because i used to follow the the rule which i still do by the way of um it takes seven days for your for water to escape your hair or to evaporate out of your hair out of your hair completely so that means after seven days i'll wash my hair every seven days i would wash my hair so that's how i kept it moisturized some people use um let me show you some people use spray use oil some people um add oil and conditioners and leave-in conditioners to that spray bottle that is okay i used to do that at the beginning but not anymore because it used to create build up and it used to make my hair itch um what i did was what i do normally is if, if i feel like my hair feels dry or my edges feel dry um in the middle of the week in between washes what i will do is i will spray my my scalp with just what I'll do is I'll just spray water, spray water to my hair and because water is moisture, by the way, when I say moisturize your hair, water is all the, the moisture you're going to need. Um, One other thing, one great tip that I forget, one great tip that I also used to use before I got lazy was to add, um, to find an aloe vera tree, take a leaf out and take the gel and then add it to your spritz bottle and add it to your spritz bottle or your spray bottle and mix it with water and just spray your hair that is i think that's the best for moisturizing your hair all right um what what else am i forgetting for me you don't like i said at the beginning of this video you don't have to follow everything step by step what you can do is just shampoo your hair i'll be happy if you just shampoo your hair 
what you do afterwards if you add an oil if you add if you if you apply oil if you apply um water mixed with oil and conditioner and living conditioner that's just up to you as long as it works for you but just shampoo your hair if you want to do the onion juice is that's great just do it experiment with it if you like it then you can add it to your regimen so um that's it for today's video i hope that my little theories and suggestions and this hair care routine um haul will help you with um protecting your hair while it is in protective styling because protective styling is supposed to protect your hair not traumatize it i hope that we will not be crying about fading edges from now on because we got it on lockdown because mine are good mine are good because mine are good after five weeks they are still mine are still good after five weeks so please don't forget to like subscribe hit the, um, hit the notification bell comment down below and tell me um, how you like the video and also what you like to see next on the channel any suggestions anything and yeah thank you so much for the love thank you so much for the support um and yeah i love you guys till next time bye